What's up everybody, welcome to Cryptolution. My name is Vincent, where we talk about the best investing and breaking news with everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today we are experiencing what you would call a slight dip. Uh, these type of corrections can set a lot of fear, FUD, anything that you can think of that would deter people from wanting to spend uh, or invest any more money, but pretty much just sell. But since you guys are crypto advocates, since you guys have been in this game either for a little bit or if you're new to the space, you guys will know that this is just normal in the crypto market. So when people talk about volatility, this is a great example of what volatility looks like. Things cannot always go on an uptrend all the time, but they also need a breather. So today we're going to talk about four coins specifically. So we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Solana, and how these four pretty much experienced a dip and how you as hodlers should either be, uh, well, if you guys think that this is either a crypto crash or if this is just basically a fake out. So with that said, before we begin, be sure to like that button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more future videos. So with that said, let's begin. This type of, you know, FUD and news has just been, you know, spreading around not just the crypto market, but also the stock market as well. But I don't know if you can tell, but people are just kind of connecting the dots. Baron is starting to talk about how uh, Evergrande is hitting the crypto market, financial news, of course, Forbes, Coindesk, the street. And if you've been in this game long enough, you've seen this before many, many times. If it wasn't this, it was the China banning cryptocurrency. And we saw how that ended meaning that the crypto market had taken a dip but it recovered because it was shaking out weak hands so with that said i wanted to just go ahead and dive in because a lot of this to me seems like a fake out more like fud to just make people sell but also the reality is people are taking their profits as well so there's nothing wrong with that you just have to buy it so we're looking at right now bitcoin versus uh the tether the us dollar and so right now we can see that we're in a ascending triangle even on the daily chart Right, so even though these uh, red candlesticks do tend to l give people a lot of FOMO, you know, if you zoom out a little bit and you're looking at how volatile the market is, right now I only see this as you know a, a breather because honestly we do need to see a cryptocurrency not always going up and up all the time. But you know this is why long-term hodlers tend to do very well compared to leveraged traders, which I do not do or support. But again, nothing to diss on. Uh, leverage traders this is how they make their money but I've seen so many people get wrecked off of that I just did not want to uh, suggest any of my viewers going through that so with that said you know I had just basically taken the high and the low of the ascending triangle and I had put it right here so eventually I, if it doesn't break out you know to the bottom and it continues uh, to ascend to um, new levels of uh, new highs I can see it hitting around 67,000 at some certain point hopefully by November and I do believe that we could get close to 100,000. Again, this is just my own point of view. This is not financial advice, but I do feel like, you know, we could hit maybe around the 70,000 range uh, by December. And people are speculating that could hit 100,000. So um, that, that's just my two cents and, uh, you know, moving on from there. So that's BTC because BTC dominance is always good to know because it depends if all coins are going to do well. So Ethereum, on another hand, you know, Took a slight dip along with bitcoin it's right now going on below the ema ribbon and uh, originally i had uh noticed something when i was zooming out i took a bull flag and i hit a target of 5300 uh, 5, why is that well i just basically took this design and i took it right here from a bull flag right and then i basically uh, took that pole and i projected that we could hit around 5300 if we continue to see some consolidation and then move to the upside but right now it's in a descending triangle so what that means is basically, you know, it could continue to go down. So we could see, you know, a little bit of movement in, say, for instance, the uh, we could we could see a, a rejection here, which we already just did, which was the, around the 3100. If we go below that, you know, we could see uh, consolidation around here, around the 2600. And when uh, you see consolidation like that, you know, these are great buying opportunities. Don't think that this is where you start to sell. You know, this market tends to go up and down, but based on even last month, you know, we were consolidating here, we dollar cost average. And, you know, if you didn't fall for the FUD, you know, and you didn't sell, that means you were already up in profit. Even, even today, I'm still up in profit, even with a small dip. So you got to do the exact same thing here. So if you ever do see something where it goes uh, to around 2700, which was the supporting level of multiple red candles in the past, 
uh, then you know definitely dollar cost average there as well. But until then, you know, definitely don't sell. This is not something where I would panic. Uh, again, the FUD can disappear within a matter of weeks. But yeah, that's just my own opinion. Again, not financial advice. Now we're moving on to Cardano. Cardano right now, uh, when it's descending triangle, it hit its all-time high of around $3.10. But then it started to kind of lose that resistance. And then all of a sudden, it broke its descending triangle. And we projected that maybe it'd come back around $3, but it did not. In fact, it broke the EMA ribbon and the descending triangle, and we're seeing that it bounced off the consolidation level of around uh, $2.07, right? Just for a short period of time. If it continues to do that, then we can see another consolidation period where it hits around $1.70. Again, when I see these things, I just dollar cost average. I put some money in it, and this is why we save money on the site, because we don't put all our money in one basket. So, you know, I'm not too nervous about this cardano's got a great future ahead and also on september 25th they have cardano summit so maybe we could see uh you know a descend but also at maybe after that news it can go straight to the moon after that and when i mean straight to the moon you know basically we can hopefully break our new all-time high and we can rechart from there so uh last one i want to do is solana so solana i'm actually very very proud of and one of the strongest cryptocurrencies right now and um right now we can see that it was just in a just a normal uh triangle you know bouncing up and down in this wedge and eventually it did break out of it but it did bounce off of the support level of around uh 134 and it's still right now above the ema ribbon and there's not as much selling pressure so right now solana is the strongest uh crypto on the market in the top 10 i feel in my perspective um i could look at the other coins but i feel the solana has been doing such a great job um, and in fact, I'm sure like maybe some people are transferring their Solana over to Ethereum uh, from those profits, but it's holding strong. And I can see this, you know, either hitting new levels of, say, for instance, uh, back to 203 or 217. So if you do see it go back down, you know, uh, I can see it hitting around a dollar uh, 134 again. That's where your dollar cost average. But right now, you know, the price is around a dollar 46. So this right now, I'm not buying or selling. I'm just kind of like looking and observing because I would only want to buy in a dip. Um, but I don't see any buying opportunities right now. So with that said, guys, I want to go back to this uh, live coin match. Just just kind of watch, um, you know, how the market's over, uh, doing overall. And as you can see, you know, everything's taken a dip. But you got to look at the bigger picture. When you zoom out, you're able to see who's been profiting and who's actually strong in little bear markets. And I don't think we're in a bear market. I think we're in a small bear market. So, you know, there's a lot of good deals here. Like if anything, I would only dollar cost average in coins that are taking dips. Right now, I can see Ethereum being a great one to dollar cost average. Obviously Cardano is a big one. Um, right now it's in fourth place. Uh, not Solana, I would do Polkadot. Uh, Avalanche used to be in $70. I wouldn't really uh, dollar cost average into that just yet. Um, I think it's still kind of, you know, holding st steady trading sideways. Uh, Chainlink I think is a great steal as well. Uh, Uniswap, I'm not really uh, DCAing in until I get a little bit more clarity around the SEC and the Uni um, case. I think Algorand is actually a great one to dollar cost average in, and uh, Cosmos as well. Um, Matic is another one, and also, uh, ooh, F FTX, oh my gosh, you know, that used to be at $60. I probably dollar cost average in there. And last one, but not least, is VeChain. So there you go, guys. Those are my top cryptos that I think you guys should dollar cost average in. Again, I do not think we are in a bear market. I don't think there's a crypto crash. I think there's just more FUD being spread and uh, that this is just a great opportunity to buy in uh, in these fake outs. So that's just my point of view. Be sure to do your own research and maybe watch other, other YouTubers to see what their thoughts are. But I just want to share you with you my experience um, the past uh, couple of years that I've been in this. And uh, yeah, I've, I'm still on profit. So... I know the whole point is to huddle as long as you can and uh, you'll be a profit as long as you're patient and you're not emotional and reacting to these dips or, you know, ascending um, new all time highs. Then, you know, if anything, we should learn how to take profit rather than sell in this in this time because we're still early. So the, that said, guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Let me know in the comments down below which coins you plan to dollar cost average, what coins you're bullish on and uh, be sure to like that button. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.